So he chooses for him a good name. And also for girls, you, you choose good names also. Don't choose some musical names. Then you have, for example, today, unfortunately, we have names that are t- derived from music. So, for example, the Sheikh mentions, we don't want to mention any names. You are more knowledgeable of this than I am. Ma- Ma- However, Ma- we want to give names that are good. So, for the boy, we have a name that represents manhood. And for a woman, a girl, a name that represents that she's going to be a woman. And how beautiful are the names of the names of Islam? And how beautiful are they? And the most beautiful. Bu- well, the most beloved names to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be called Abdullah and Abdul Rahman. Unfortunately, you have some people, they don't like these names. These are from the shayateen of mankind. What do they call them? What do they call Abdullah? Abudi, Abadi, Abdu. You don't love a name that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you don't pronounce it properly, you change the pronunciation. A beautiful name. What do they call Muhammad? Midu, Mimu. Maybe you call a cat this. Even the kuffar, they wouldn't call the Prophet Muhammad by his name Muhammad. They weren't able to do this. This is a man. Even if he was young, he was raised upon manhood. Don't call him Mimo or Midu. Muhammad. Call him Muhammad. Abu Umair. And these titles are Abu Abdullah. And also, the same applies to women, girls. Give her this, kaip, uh, this kunya. 